By all accounts, acts of courage are what led to six adults at Sandy Hook to lose their lives. As News 8's Jocelyn Mementa found out their bravery is inspiring those pursuing their own passion for teaching. For many, being a teacher is more than imparting knowledge to students. You have a huge impact on every part of their lives. And you want to be a part of that. You want to be able to make the difference. Teaching for these students in the undergrad master's teaching program at Quinnipiac University is a life calling. I used to make my friends play school with me, and I always wanted to be the teacher. And I wouldn't, I'd make them be the students. I had such great history teachers, and you know, they just made me want to take what I had learned from them and just pass it on to other people. The unthinkable loss of young lives and educators at Sandy Hook Elementary, they say, is a reality check not a deterrent. And you never really think the unexpected, but you know, life's crazy and sometimes they throw you, you know, I mean, curveballs and you, I guess you gotta just adjust. And I mean, if it, the circumstance, and circumstance happens that you have to deal with something like that, you need to be ready for it. The stories of bravery of Victoria Soto protecting her first graders only served to inspire them. After hearing about it and hearing all the stories, it makes me proud to be entering this profession. After hearing how heroic the teachers were and the staff, and you'd hope that, like, if you were ever put in that situation, you'd do the same thing for your kids because when you're a teacher, they're like all of your kids, so you want to protect them as much as you can. While what happened here will be forever ingrained in their minds, they look forward to the day they are at the head of the class. Teaching them, but not only teaching them, but learning from them. You know, because there's so much that we can give, but there's so much that they can give back as well. We as future teachers, you know. We're doing this to make our schools that we go into better and safer places, and we hope that you know, that, that experience and that event won't be forgotten. We'll always remember it. All four, Chris Caldari, Alex Burgos, Nina Shiwokas, and Victoria Formica, are currently juniors at Quinnipiac in the third year of their five-year accelerated teaching program. Pretty remarkable young people, and their commitment and compassion will serve them well as teachers. Back to you.